After nearly five years of appeals, Dino Moretti, reputed lieutenant of the Franco crime family, was released from prison today and acquitted of all charges in connection with the murders of police officer Frank Castle and his family. Moretti has long maintained his innocence and claims he has no idea who is responsible for the 125 mysterious gangland murders, often attributed to a shadowy figure known as the Punisher, which have occurred in this city over the last half decade. Laurie Silvers has this on-the-scene report. Mr. Moretti, Mr. Moretti, how does it feel to be finally acquitted? It feels great. Just great. The government says it's going to appeal. How do you feel about that? Ah, let him appeal a hundred times. I'll still win. This is America. If a man is innocent, justice prevails. Are you worried about the Punisher? Now, let me tell you something about this Punisher, whoever he is. If he ever shows up within 1,000 yards of me, he'll find out what the word punished really means. Now, if you'll excuse me. And there you have it. The Dapper Don, allegedly head of the powerful Franco crime family, once again shrugging off any fear of the Punisher, despite the fact that over 125 organized crime figures have been murdered by the self-styled vigilante in the last five years. This is Lori Silvers for Channel 8 News. Hey, what do you think? Maybe I got a future in politics. <laughs> okay, enough of the jokes. Let's break out the champagne. I'll get it, boss. No. First things first, you guys check the house. I'll get the champagne. Sure. Hey, Mikey, set the music around here. Winning isn't everything, it's the only
true you're being pressured to step down as head of the Punisher Task Force? No comment. Lieutenant, do you have any leads? No comment. Lieutenant, are you sticking to your theory that the late Frank Castle and the Punisher are the same person? Absolutely. Despite the fact that the official police department statement that Castle died with his family... Don't you people have anything better to do with your time? It's 2 o'clock in the goddamn morning, for Christ's sake. Shit. Hey, give me a break. Well, that was smart. Very smart. Well, oh, the chief of the test there must be something very important to bring you out at 2 a.m. in the morning. It is. Yeah? I have a message from the mayor. I quote, Frank Castle is dead. No more talk about him being otherwise. You toe the line, or you get the boot. Uh, you go along with that, too, wouldn't you, huh? Jake, we cannot let the public think there is some psychotic ex-cop running around whacking out wise guys like he's got a hunting license. Why not, huh? Why not? Berkowitz, it's late. I'm tired. You're warned. What the hell ever happened to you? Pull that hose back. Okay, Grant, I'm gonna shoot an update. Excuse me, Lieutenant Berkowitz? Yeah. I'm Detective Sam Leary. Sam? <sighs> Samantha. Mm -hmm. I worked with you once, five years ago. The Moretti heroin bus. It was my first assignment, plain clothes. I was the hooker. Oh, right. Well, what can I do for you, detective? I'd like a shot at being your partner. I don't work with a partner. I know, but you used to. Frank, used to. Past tense. I, I'm not after a free ride. I can carry my share of the load. I'm sure you can. No, you're not. You're not even listening to me. That's right. I'm not even listening to you. Why? Because I work with the best. Anything else is a waste of my time. Besides, would you think you're the first person to apply for this job? No, but I'm the most qualified. What makes you think that? I graduated first in my class at the academy. I scored in the top 1% of all officers in the target range. I made detective first time up. I'm the second youngest member of the force ever to do that. Well, you must make your parents very proud. But why should I make you my partner? I believe that Frank Castle's the Punisher. You know where my office is? Yeah. You'll be there at 9 o'clock, sharp. Mr. Franco, how does it feel to be back home? 30 minutes since I've landed, so far so good. Have you come back to take over, sir? Come on, fellas, it was a long flight to Miss Ty. Let's give him a break, huh? Are you afraid of the Punisher? The Punisher? Yeah. You know what I think in Europe? You guys made it up to sell newspapers. There is no Punisher. Then what's been killing your associates for the last five years? Well, too much stress, I guess. Thanks for coming. Come on, come on. Come on, vanish. Oh, just a second. Can I help you, detective? Oh, you already have, Franco. Really? No. Kind of like a worm helps a fisherman. I'm glad you finally came home, John. I was running out of bait. I'll see you around. Too much stress, huh? <laughs> That's funny. How'd you like it over there, Tommy? No, it was OK. You learned some good stuff in those fancy schools? Hey, come on. Show him something you learned something. You got a quarter? Sure. There you go. Watch him. Hey, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it with a $10 bill, too. That's a bit expensive for me. Yeah, come on. Give this to Lily in the kitchen with my compliments. Ask him to give you another piece of cheesecake. Lose something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tell me, how bad is it? How bad? Well, if you didn't come home, I would be head of the family. It's not going to be any such thing as families anymore, Jim. It's old thinking. It's dad thinking. There'll be no more wars, no more territories. Well, how are you going to convince anyone of this? With an act of good faith, so generous that even Freddy DeLeo will see the light. A week from now, I've arranged for 600 kilos of pure junk to come in. 600 keys? 
five hundred million dollars worth, and everyone gets to share, provided they work together to make it happen. One group on security, one in receiving, one in collecting, and one in distribution. It wouldn't be too hard, would it? And what do we do about the punishing? <sighs> one thing at a time, Jim. First we consolidate, and then we obliterate. <laughs> Excuse me, kind sir, but I can't help but see in you a man far luckier than me. What? Whatever you can spare will be sufficient, I think, to stand this old thespian a very stiff thing. What the hell's a thespian? An actor, sir. Oh, sure. Thank you. Hey, what I tell you about bugging the customers? Richie. Throw this trash out of here. You can't take right, like this. It's a lousy fast plan. I demand Shut respect. Up. I'm not trash. I'm a man. <sighs> Maybe I should have tried some Eugene O'Neill. Oh. 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 You were supposed to meet me here four hours ago. I know. I know all about it. I've been hearing it all my life. Shaq's responsibility. Can't keep an appointment. Where is the dope coming into? The dope. The dope. Oh, oh that. Pier 30. But... But the location's not the big story. Who'll be there is... Who'll be there? Everyone. They're all working together now. One big happy family. Under the fatherly wing of your old friend, Johnny Franco. Mr. P! Happy hunting! I can't get this friggin' thing to work. Very difficult. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wait. There's 500 million dollars out there, assholes. Cool out. Here, check the perimeter. Get with it. Red one, come in. Red one, will you get off your ass? What? Everything's okay? Yeah. <laughs> Red two, what have you got? Bad kidneys. I gotta pee. So pee. Everything's okay? Yeah. It's dead here. <laughs> oh!
15 minutes late. Jesus Christ. Fucking faggot Frenchman. Here they come. Here they come! of dope. Seven dead wise guys, all from different families. This is a drug deal gone bad. Guess again. Hideko Tanaka. She's single in her early 40s. She has one daughter, a mute American girl she adopted at birth, who never leaves her sight. She's a graduate from Harvard Business School and the first female ever to have the Yakuza. Yaku what? Yakuza, Japanese mafia. This is a long fucking way from Japan. It is. What the hell are they doing here? I don't know. We were about to find out. Okay. Lady Tanaka. Mr. Franco, it is an honor. Your reputation precedes you. As does yours. Please sit down. No, thank you. What I have to say will be brief. We have been tracking your organization for quite some time. Your leadership is decimated. 
you soldiers are experienced. Our little demonstration on Pier 30 was ample proof of that. You're weak, Mr. Franco. Vulnerable. And we are not. We could cripple all your operations legal as well as illegal very easily. But we don't want that. With all due respect, Mr. Naka, let's cut through the bullshit and get to the heart of the matter. What do you want? A partnership. Define the term. You will continue to manage and oversee all your business on a day-to-day -day basis. We will assume the duties of executive administration, investments, and financial services. Come on. I'm not through. What do you propose as a split? 75% for us, 25% for you. <laughs> no fucking way am I gonna be a salary boy to some bunch of nips, got that? I don't know about the rest of you guys, but the DeLeo family gives up shit. We don't work for nobody. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> we are Yakuza. When your ancestors were still shepherds screwing sheep on the Mediterranean coast, as were the crime lords of Asia. I'm not offering terms, Mr. Franco. I'm making demands. And what if we choose not to comply? Steps are now being taken to ensure that you will. You Americans have a great capacity for violence. But it is wild, unfocused. You will know. No! Oh! Oh! Good day, gentlemen. What do we do? Only one thing we can. We go to war. Now, what do you think you're going to do with that? Play Miss Pac-Man or something? Hopefully find Castle. No shit. No shit. Uh -huh. Just how are you going to accomplish this little miracle? Well, I've accessed into all available data banks with information on him and programmed the computer to come up with an analysis of probable locations. Oh, wow. You need even a punisher has to live somewhere. <laughs> Hey, you see this board here? Yeah. I've been living with this board for five years. Every time he kills somebody, I put a red pin in it. And I fine tooth every building, every alley in this city. And so far, the only thing that I've got to show for is these little calling cards here. A whole bunch of these. I've already been through this city. I've been in it, around it, on top of it. You name it. How about under it? Trouble, I'd better get out of here on the double. Ah! Oh. 
You know, with your flair for entrances, you should consider a career in the theater. I'll think about it. What are you doing here? What would I be doing tramping around the sewers of this great metropolis? Sightseeing. <laughs> Very funny. I bring you news, you give me grief. You know they all think you're dead. They'll kill each other now. Turn the lights off when you leave. Very clever. And what will you do while the carnage ensues? Take a vacation. Yes, I hear the sewers of Paris are lovely this time of year. And what about the children? What children? The children of the new bosses are now counted among their losses. They're being held for ransom by the Japanese. So the bosses will have to pay up. Pay they will, and all for naught. The children will be sold by the slave trade. They will be bought. My God, man, don't you see? This is a result of your five-year killing spree. You weakened the fathers to such degrees they couldn't protect their own families. I punish the guilty. And as a result, the innocent now suffer. You must do something! You must do something. for this fucking brainstorming. I say we snatch her daughter, we take her to the meeting with this in her mouth, and then we talk. Freddy, before you go off snatching anybody, let me tell you a little story about our Mr. Naka. The only person she was ever close to was her twin brother. They grew up in an orphanage in Tokyo after the Second World War. They were inseparable. They lived together the whole lives. One day, he stuck the Yakuza for a lot of money, which he had no intention of paying back. Nothing happened to him because of her. Then other people started getting the same idea. Before she could become head of the organization, the other leaders demanded an act of absolute loyalty. You know what she did? She went home, cooked her brother a beautiful meal, waited until he had finished and then slit his throat. Jesus. So what are you saying? We don't deal with her? I'm saying we can't deal with her. No. What you're saying is there's nothing that can save our kids. There is, but it's lying on the bottom of the harbor. Well, I'm going to the meeting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm not. Good. The money for the children. The slave business is very profitable. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't cry. We're gonna be okay. We're not going to be okay. It's because of my father that I'm here. It's not true. Then why are we here, Mr. Nodoff? I don't know. I do. We're being held for ransom because our fathers are rich gangsters. Then why am I here? My father's not a gangster. <laughs> what? Are you kidding? Your father's the biggest gangster and a coward. 
My dad said if he didn't run from his responsibilities, there wouldn't be this mess. Bullshit! You're bullshit! Hit him! Why are you fighting? Everything is going to be all right. I want to go home. And you will. When? Soon. No more tears. Here. Come with me. Leave her alone! Uh. Happy camper. Don't ask me, I can't get a word out of them. 
Mr. I said, please sit down. I don't think he was hiding something under there. May I? Be my guest. What the hell is this? Trouble. Get him out of here. Okay. Okay. Lieutenant. You're not going to believe this. Try me. The kids of all the new family heads have been snatched. They've named the Punisher as the prime suspect. They're wrong. It makes sense. They know it does, but they're wrong. Do you have a reason for saying that? I've got two reasons for saying that. Contacts tell me the kids are here. You sure this is it? Uh, I'd stake my reputation on it if I had one. You got a spare? What? One of those. Listen, if the whole of the kids here is with the fucking arsenal, you move left instead of right, you're dead. The critics said the same thing about my Hamlet. Stay here. Watch your back. Thank you. 
that was a very expensive question you asked at our place the other night. It cost us nearly two million dollars in the cash. How much pain do you think that buys? Is the question true, false, or multiple choice? Neither. You'll keep you alive much longer than you care to be. Goodbye. Hey. Have a nice day. something to say. decided not to attend. A wise decision. What are you talking about? You fucking bitch! already have. Champagne. But 
glasses. It's ready to boat sails in an hour. Oh, yeah, I want you to meet Jimmy.
Frank is dead. All right? Oh, let's see. So you, uh, decided everybody else had to be dead, too, is that it? No. If you're guilty, you're dead. Courts decide who's guilty, not cops. They hereby swear to uphold the law, remember? Years, man. Why the hell didn't you come to me for help? I didn't need your help. You're sick. You know that, don't you? And what the fuck do you call 125 murders in five years? Huh? Work in progress.
Castle, the ex-police officer who has waged a one-man war against organized crime for the past five years, will be escorted to court to face an unprecedented 125 first-degree murder charges. There's still no news as to the whereabouts of Tommy Franco, the son of crime boss Johnny Franco. Where's Berkowitz? Hurting. What happened between you two when he what came the to fuck see do you? Care? Hey, I care. I'm his partner. He carried the burden for a long time by himself. He needed help, and you weren't there. I was the next best thing. He resigned from the force after he saw you. He lived for the day he found you so that he could help you. That's all he had, and now you've taken that away. He's your best friend. Why do you want to take him down with you? You, you were his life before this ever happened. And you've been his life ever since, and you fucking well know that. How long do you think someone can live after you've cut out their heart? A long time. Like you? Is that what you want for Jake? To live like you? Call him. What? I said, call him. Okay. Okay, I'll do it. But understand, when this is over, you're dead. The elevator stops at 40. They're on 41. We need a key to get that which a guard has in the lobby. Five minutes, push the first button. What's that gonna do? Blow out the lights. Sir, just in case, it's been an honor to have known you. Likewise. Castle, here's some body armor for you. Just in case. Here, just in case. Have it your way. Fifteen minutes. You hit the second button. What's that gonna blow out? Everything else. Hey. I gotta take a leak. Be my guest. That's fine. 
But I don't know what the boss is going to say about a yellow stain on the seat. Hey, hey, oh, oh, hey, man, that skin back there. Take it easy. Uh, what? Are you going to handle the equipment for me? In front. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? What? Is an IQ test required for this job? No. Oh. I didn't think so. Hey, man, I got the pizza. Oh. 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 your question what's the reason behind you killing all those guys there's a limit to revenge well i guess i haven't reached one yet
This poor old slob. Get on the case. Do the job. Hey, hey, come take care of this guy. I operate under my own steam. Thank you. to say. Elevate is a very temperamental thing. So a cops that don't like being jerked around. Now, how long? Ten minutes. How long? Hey, how long? Uh, five minutes. Ah, oh, Mr. Franco. How nice to see you again. Let him go. <laughs> You've gotten everything you wanted. <laughs> Not quite yet. Michael. Well, you can't win here. If you kill him, I kill you. And who loses more? Certainly not me. What do you want? On your knees. On your knees! in your mouth. You have my word, he will live. How do I know you'll keep it? You don't. But some chance is better than no chance. All the way in. Pull that trigger, Mr. Franco. Now, now. This is part of your education, you watch. Goodbye, Mr. Franco. <laughs> Let's go. 
Tommy! Dad! Tommy! Can I have a look at you? Okay, to walk. Yeah. Okay. Come on. 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 Come something I never dreamed possible. You've wiped out the competition. Thanks to you, there's only me. In five years' time, my new organization will be the most powerful crime syndicate on Earth. And that boy whose life you saved will inherit all of it. And the only thing he will have to fear, I'm about to eliminate. You gave me back my son. Thank you very much. I'm in your debt. See you in hell, castle. Dad! Tommy! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Good. Maybe if you get it over with now, you won't grow up to be like him.
you all right? Which way did he go? talk to God sometimes. I ask him if what I'm doing is right or wrong. I'm still waiting for an answer. And until I get one, I'll be out here. Waiting. Watching. The guilty will be punished. <laughs> 